Hello again! How are you? Hope you're well. So, what are we going to do today? Well, previously we looked at some graphs, we labelled some graphs, and we looked at the IELTS question. Today we're going to learn some language. We're going to learn some useful vocabulary and structures to help us write sentences to describe trends. So today we're looking at describing trends. How are we going to do that? First of all, we'll look at what actually a trend is. Okay. We will look, have, a, have a quick look at how these trends are represented in IELTS. So what do we see when we open our test papers for this writing task one? Then I'm going to give you some useful vocabulary to describe movement of trends which go up and down. And we're also going to look at how we describe other types of trends. Then we will look at these trends a little bit more closely and look at how they change. Do they change quickly or slowly? Do they change in a large way or a small way? Okay, so first of all, what is a trend? Now, I don't know what dictionary you use to study English, but for the Cambridge Advanced Learners Dictionary, we have a definition as follows for a trend. So a trend, according to this dictionary, is a change in a situation from one time to another. So two important things here. Situation changing from time one to time two. Okay? An example of this would be surveys show more people rented accommodation ten years ago than now, okay? So the change in the situation from the past to now is going down, okay? So fewer people now rent accommodation. Ten years ago, more people rented accommodation. Another example, there has been an increase in sales in the last few years. So this is good for the company because a few years ago sales might have been here, but now sales are here, okay? So, that's what a trend is. Now, in IELTS, when you open your test papers and you see some diagrams expressing trends, what actually do you see? Here are some examples. First of all, we have a, a line graph. Okay? A line graph looks like this. If you take a look at the bottom, you've got the time period in the x-axis. Okay? This tells us how over how many years the situation is changing. Okay? And if we look at this line in the graph more closely, we can see that there is an increase over the period. So starting in 2001, it moves up to 2002, it moves up again to 2003, and again, and again all the way to 2004. So this trend is going up. Okay? Good. Another diagram, we might have a table. Okay, and in the table, in the columns, you can see this time period from 1975 to 2005. Looking more closely at the trend for Betchbury, it starts at 3.200,000, so 320,000 population, moving up to 340,000, so 370,000, and finally to 400 and 400, 410,000. Uh, people in 2005. Okay? That's our upward trend again. Another diagram would be a bar graph this time. And here's the time frame, the, the time period, okay, from 2001 to 2005. And the figures for women, females, first of all, increases slowly. And figures for men is increasing quickly. Okay? And finally, we have a pie chart, okay? If we look at the amount in, of, the, of the green slice of this pie chart in 2000, and we move from 2000 to the pie chart in 2005, we can see that the green slice is now bigger. So again, another upward trend, okay? So in your IELTS questions, this is how you see your trends. These are what you need to describe, okay? And I'm going to give you the language to start you off.